Hey, Vortex. So, uh... I think that one of the reasons why God wants me to do stand-up comedy is because I'm really good at talking about things in a way that other people are not. Because in case you haven't noticed, everybody's kind of sort of the same piece of shit automaton, you know? They, they just like, you know, say things in such a way they don't think it's going to get them in trouble because they're fucking lame. And, oh, a shady lane. <laughs> See, told y'all, told y'all. I wasn't lying, okay? Um... I got these for Ronique. So, they're a product of Israel. See that? Please, somebody in the Vortex call me a Zionist shill. You're like so original. Ugh. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Please twist that. Please twist that and turn that into whatever you want it to be, okay? Because that's like all the people on the internet do. Um, it doesn't offend me, it's just funny. It's funny. If I sound offended, it's because I'm amused. Okay. I'm just gonna give you all the Almond Brothers for the uh, long pauses and awkward silences. to one of the greatest southern rock bands that's ever existed. Oh shit. That's right, a change in my car. The reason why I changed in my car is because it's super duper hot and I don't have air conditioning. And I'm not wasting money on that, you know? I'd rather be inconvenienced then spend more money on something that I don't actually need. But uh, let's see what time it is. See, 20 minutes late. Just 20 minutes. Not too bad. But, uh, anyway, uh, I was saying something important. Hold on a second. Hold on. Joined up in the army, it was hard to find. Being a poor here, got my young ass on the line. But I'll be right here tonight. There you go. Never get back home, I hope I never see you. Oh, I think I was talking about how like people are so afraid to talk about certain things, but it's like, it's not just like the subject matter, it's like how they're talking about it. It's like everybody's just, you know, walking on eggshells all the damn time, you know? It's fucking annoying. And I hate it when people beat around the bush. I'm just like, just fucking say it, man. Like whatever you're so afraid to say. But the reason why they're afraid to say it is because they've been indoctrinated to think that it matters what a bunch of numbskulls think. Because it's always numbskulls that are reacting. It's numbskulls that get upset. And I, I just don't give a shit, dude. I do not give a shit. Like, if you're an overly sensitive candy ass, go kill yourself. You won't, because you don't have any self-awareness. So that's not much of a threat, all right? But like, oh my goodness. I just realized I don't even have my work shirt. <laughs> That's funny. I'm, I'm sure that there's a work shirt here that you can borrow. I'm sure there, I'm sure you're not going to be sent home because you don't have your work shirt. I'm, I'm sure that, I'm sure that they'll still let you work.
I need to like, I need to like cover up my boobies because like, you know. In case you haven't noticed, I don't wear a bra. I haven't worn a bra since freshman year of high school because fuck that shit. It has nothing to do with feminism or patriarchy or any of that other bullshit. It's mainly because I don't want to, you know. You shouldn't do what you don't want to do. It's fucking stupid. You know, especially if it's just some pointless social norm that doesn't make any sense. And if you, like, question it, people get mad. If you go against the grain, people get mad. You know, because those people suck the dick of the grain. They suck the titty of the grain. Whatever you want to call the grain. Um, they don't have the balls to just say, no, fuck you, grain. I don't want your shit. I don't need your seal of approval, grain. Who do you think you are, Grain? You know? Most people don't have the sheer tenacity that yours truly possesses. So, I mean, I've, I've been going against Grain since 1985, like, since I got in this son of a bitch, you know? I don't think nothing of it. But you see all these people that call themselves political dissidents? If you really want to be a true political dissident, break your smartphone. Oh, just kidding. We know you're a crackhead. 